showing you how to do a Bloody Mary Russian style. Let's do it properly. All you need is a selection here. I'll post the picture on the um, just before the video starts so you can have a look. Basically, we will have a glass, of course. We have a measuring glass just in case, um, well, you know, you need to be kind of aware how much you put in it. Uh, we've got the Worcestershire sauce, we've got the vodka, we've got a shaker, tomato juice, lemon, salt, cayenne pepper, and a stick of celery. So let's start. Here we go. So we have a shaker. Open it up. So we go to the vodka. We've got the Russian standard or Ruski standard. In one of the best. So I'm going to put about 50 ml. A little bit more. Let's not be stingy. I know many places you go out and you order Bloody Mary. You don't really get much water and you can actually taste it and it's not a proper Bloody Mary. So, we have uh, a little bit over than 50, wouldn't you say? <laughs> In it goes. In our shaker. And we have a pinch of salt. We have a tiny pinch of cayenne pepper. We have a half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. You can't do it without, and there's no substitute. I know people use Tabasco's, but again, not a proper Bloody Mary. Right, ice. We in Russia don't really put ice in a Bloody Mary. I don't see a reason why you want to dilute either your tomato juice or vodka with water. So, ideally, keep your um, juice in the fridge, and of course, vodka in the freezer anyway. But I'm going to add on just to shake it up some metal ice cubes. You keep them in the freezer, take them out, put them in, they just chill the bits a little bit more, and then you take them out after the thing is done. Put that one in, and off it goes the uh, smudge juice. Don't buy a watered down smudge juice again, it doesn't taste really nice. I actually found this one in one of the uh, German supermarkets. It's actually much better than average tomato juices and it's very, very cheap as well. Okay, have a bit of lemon, just squeeze a tad in there. You don't have to do it in a shaker if you don't have one, you can just mix it all in the glass, no problem at all. Okay, off it goes. Give it a good shake, it's going to be really noisy because of the metal thing. So it's anywhere where you can smell or taste vodka in it. So you should best do it yourself. And off it goes. Set them out. So we're just going to shit up and enjoy. Mm. Russian style. Lovely Bloody Mary is all done. Uh, what I've done obviously garnish the drink. So we have a little bit of lemon and a piece of celery. Oh, I shall now enjoy. Is that past 12 o'clock yet? Can I drink it? Lovely. Oh, this is good. That is strongly good. It's honestly one of the best Bloody Marys you get to try, trust me. I'll put all the uh, details and proportions on the video, guys, and you must try this. This is better than, better than anywhere. Enjoy, cheers.